What up, folks? I am UltraZone. Today I have a review of the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Mighty Metalhead. Oh my gosh, didn't we just see this guy on the channel? That's all right. From my UltraZilla Rewind Zone to the present day, the Mighty Metalhead is going to get its due. That's right. I decided, you know what? We're going to take one of those things that was in the UltraZilla Rewind Zone, the reviews that never were. If you didn't see what that was, go check it out. Two in the series so far. Uh, all about footage that got too old and I decided to scrap. Mostly stuff from 2020 and 2021. Lots of reviews I didn't get a chance to finish. This one uh, was amongst Volume 2, which just came out recently. So do give that a check. It's a very, very interesting look within. And like I said in that video, some of those things uh, might still get reviewed. Like the Mighty Metalhead. So decided, you know what? I, I want to get Metalhead reviewed. I want him out of here once and uh, for all. That is the package. There you go. The only thing I got to film the first time was a box art nerd, which I don't do anymore because I do these openings now like this. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get to this review. And here's Metalhead out of the package. And let's do articulation first on this guy. His head moves like so. You could open, you could go up and down. Uh, and then you could go side to side, all of that. The mouth opens like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then the body moves like so in the middle, um, which, you know, considering he's got a shell, is not so bad. <laughs> then the shoulders can move outwards like that. They could go upward like, like that. You have a swivel at the bicep. And then uh, you have, I think it's a double jointed elbow, but it could be a single joint. I think it's a single joint, actually. Uh, behind that, you know, it is a little bit hindered there. Hinge here. Swivel there. Legs go out that much. Kick forward a bit. Goes back. Swivel at the thigh. The uh, knee is a double joint. Don't want to crack my figure because, you know, it's NECA and that could happen. Uh, but it is a double joint. Does the boot cut work? No. Then I don't, that, that means there's no boot cut. Uh, hinge at the foot. Uh, you can rock it a bit. So he feels a little stiff. Again, NECA. But also the way it's designed, uh, you know, and I, I say that because at, at stiff joints, that's been a thing forever. Uh, but they've gotten better. And this figure is a little bit older now, you know, but uh, it's still, you know, it's still not bad. Oh, and you have this here. This is, if you want to count that as a point of articulation, but I count it as more of a gimmick. Look, it's got a cool gimmick in the back. All right, so taking a look at this guy in full, he's got really long legs, but I don't mind that. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I've always liked Metalhead. I always felt like, you know, robotic Ninja Turtle, kind of like a mecha, and now, you know, there is like turtle mechas this guy is like the original you know what i'm saying um and i really really dig him head sculpt is pretty cool i like it i like the eyes i like how they go inwards he looks a little mean i like the red i like the you know nice black around that little panel lining very very cool the yellow looks good the mouth as you saw nothing going on in there but there's not supposed to be anything going on in there it's pretty cool though the ears in green look pretty good i like the head sculpt all around the shell looks nice you saw the little switch there which is cool done in red white around that very nice nice panel lining on the shell as well i like it a lot got some red there at the shoulder nice robotic shoulders look pretty good little panel lining there it doesn't hurt the uh lower arms you got the the band here, which, you know, is supposed to be more clothy, and that looks pretty good. The hands are very nicely done, I have to say. The green little gauntlet there looks pretty good, too. Got some bombs here, which are cool. In white, little black lines. The rest of the belt is in black. That goes straps around. I think it looks good enough, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I like this little gray, dark gray back here. I didn't notice that before. That's, oh, do I only have it on one side? 
I have it on one side. I don't have it on the other side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. it's all turned around. Now I have it on this side. <laughs> so, <laughs> something is turned around here, but uh, it's not a big deal. The chest overall looks pretty good. I do like it. Um, you know, it could be a little neater there, but it's not so bad. I believe these open. Yes, they do. You see some uh, inner workings back here. It's kind of cool. Some sculpt work in there as well. And in there. Pretty neat. Little red thing there. Little button, right? Uh, and then some nice work down in the lower carpus. And then we got some nice bulby legs. Very robotic looking. Like classic robotic looking. You know what I'm saying? The knee pads, pretty nice. And the legs lower legs here's some of that dark gray again i like that i think that looks really good you know on the back kind of like shading i'm guessing these were supposed to go on the back i don't know i'll have to use a little discombobulated i guess the feet look pretty good too i like them green yellow panel lining these little balls at the uh ankles look a little sloppy but it's not so bad bottom of the feet sculpt it in there you go I think Metalhead looks pretty good. Is it perfect? No, but it looks pretty... Uh, some dark spot over here, too. Is it good, though? Yeah, it's, I think it's pretty good. I like him. I do. I'm so happy to see Metalhead out of this package. For accessories, first up, we have a plethora of hands. Not too much, actually. Just two extra pairs of hands. You got some uh, fist hands and uh, some holding hands. He also comes uh, with this awesome gun. Uh, that goes into his chest. Now, there's uh, this really flimsy wire that's supposed to go in a little hole over here, but that's... I, I'm not getting that in there. It's not easy to do, so I don't really care about it too much, but that's the gun sticking out of the chest, which does look pretty cool. Very, very old-school, cartoony type of deal. We get this awesome uh, drill hand, which also has the black panel lining, uh, which looks cool. You just pull off his hand and... Uh, <laughs> You put in that, and I'm just going to keep him right here because we also get the vacuum cleaner arm. That's right, you pop that in, and now he could uh, vacuum clean the turtle's layer and get on Splinter's nerves. Looks pretty good. I like the bag here in red and orange. This part here looks really nice. It's, it's, it's a neat little accessory. Uh, both this and the drill arm are pretty awesome. I do dig it, for sure. And for your size comparisons, here is Metalhead with a few other NECA figures you might have in your collection. Not too many here. I just don't know where all my NECA figures are. Uh, <laughs> I really don't. And I do have the Super 7 Metalhead, which originally when I got this and the Super 7 Metalhead, um, I was going to do a comparison video between the two. But we might just do uh, like a mini comparison within the Super 7 video uh, when the time comes. I, I don't have that one handy either. It's somewhere in the back of my backlog rack. So um, yeah, can't get to it right now, but I hope to soon. And my final thoughts, you know, I thought when I got it that it was a neat figure and it's a neat figure. <laughs> I, I do like it. Uh, very cool to do this spurred on by my own video. So see? Doing uh, that rewind video really sparked my interest in trying to get at least one of these done. Especially this guy because he was in the package. Everything was together. And that's the problem with like some of those rewind video subjects is that a lot of them are out of the packaging now and on my shelves and maybe missing something here or there and this one was an easy one to do because it was still in the box sitting in my backlog. So very cool and I'm glad I did it because it's a really cool figure and it deserved that do. You know, I, I have a bunch of turtle stuff in this backlog because I, I, I do like turtles, you know, and I have featured a lot of them here on the channel before in the past. Uh, not as much recently, but... You know, I kind of stopped collecting them because there was so many throughout so many lines. But I do plan on doing the ones I have. And every once in a while, I will get something, you know, like the Triceradon, which Tropton, Zog, you know, which you didn't see in this video because he's in my apartment. I like playing around with him at my computer. Um, but, you know, 
you do see some here and there. Usagi, and you will always see a little bit of turtle stuff sprinkled in. This guy's cool though, and you can still get it. Uh, it is available at whatever retailer you want. So there you go. It's really good. That's my review. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out, peeps.